Oh, I switch to Bokken as you know, you notice, but you can use the same movement and same grips using Bokken. Okay, that's a big swings. That's you have to have it. Now also you can cut through sideways. Or we have an angle. Also big swings and angle cut. And the reverse. Also you can stab throat or chest. Since that's the sharp, supposed to be sharp source, any part of the uh, body is effective. Now I'll show you with Bokken many fighting poses. First, top of the head fighting pose. A little bit tilt, not straight back, but tilt. Now way up higher, one fist away from your head, so what have to be. This is upper fighting pose. Go to middle, point to the sores, the tip of the sores. And if you drop the tip of the sores, go to lower fighting pose. And if you go to the side, you see this fighting pose in many movies. It's not straight up, but a little bit tilt. And this hand guard go between eye and the mouth. So if you too, that's too low, too high, and not bring elbow to the side. Elbow relax. And this we call hasso no kamae, hasso no kamae. And this is the upper hasso no kamae, lower, this way. And again, now another one is side. So from opponent, only see this part of the sword. Instead of showing whole leg behind, go sha. One more, jigen, jigen no kamae, kamae means pas fighting posture, is you could pick up dirt if you necessary, sideway, but close to the ground, go jigen, Hasso no kamae. Sha no kamae. Middle section. That's the most popular fighting pose. Also, the samurai terms go Seigan no kamae. Lower fighting posture. Gema, gedan no kamae. More aggressive postures. Jodan no kamae or upper fighting pose. Or any fighting pose you can create, but those are the basics.